All right, welcome back to Coffee Talk. Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Oh, the weather seems better tonight, hmm? Welcome. Oh, hold on. Let's check these. Hold on. Let's go to my stories. Yeah. Hello, sir. Back so soon? Hell yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, good to know. Hmm, is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Kind of. Maybe. Okay, I knew it was a long shot, but Loki was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. Hi, Key. Oh. You're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. I'm still not sure what came over me, but never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. But dang, Nori, this place is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah, it's about right. The regulars typically show up around mm, two or three hours from now. Yeah, Pops too. You mean Officer Georgie? Yep, he's regular, right? You're right. Not every day, but he does come around that time as well. I see. Then wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. But new customers tend to drop by around this time. <laughs> you got me there. Either way, works out for me. Because I'm here to do some work. Oh? I might be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So, got some editing to do. If you need a power outlet, there's one near the wall under the table. Sweet, thanks. However, there's no Wi-Fi here. What? What is this? The Ice Age? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. I'm joking. Uh, at least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, we're all about talking and not surfing, or something like that, huh? Honestly, I never thought about it like that. But that sounds legit. Sure, why not? <laughs> In that case, you can transfer the tagline royalties to the link in my bio. The licensing fee is free since you're so cool. Thanks. I'm joking. Anyway, I guess I better get to move on over there, huh? There we go. Now I'm ready to place my order. Now I'm ready to take your order. What would you like to have tonight? Hmm. I've got to stay fresh and awake. So maybe a cafe latte? Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Can you make me a custom drink? Like a cafe latte with lots of honey? I mean a lot of honey. Like a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember tasting more honey than milk, so might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll do my best. Great. A cafe latte with lots of honey, please. Okay. So I'm gonna go with So the cafe is milk, so I might add honey. Alright, so we're gonna brew it. so fancy. Now, time to give this a try. Cheers! How is it? Super. It's exactly how I remembered it. I'm glad to see your taste. Actually, it's not. 
It's too sweetened for me. But it's something I drank a lot back in the day. It gives you a lot of energy when you got nothing else to eat. Huh. What is it? So you had them in place of meals? Kind of, yeah. I um, didn't have a lot of spare cash back then. Heck, I couch surfed a lot. Until eventually I moved into my old group's house. So anyway, yeah. Sure takes me back. Hmm. What is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. You think? Yeah. As much as I love coffee, drinking it to replace meals isn't really recommended. Even with lots of honey. Even with lots of honey. And milk? Milk too? It all turns into acid in your stomach. Oh, so not great if that was all you had. Right. That makes too much sense. Good bummer. Sorry. No, you just solved one of my life's biggest mysteries, probably. So, thanks for that. As long as it helps. Now I can look at being buzzy the same way ever again. I can't. My bad. Hello there. What a nice surprise. Long time no see, you two. <laughs> Hi, Nori. It's been a while. How have you been? We were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. All right. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Hmm. Look, Aqua, all I want is for you to reread the terms carefully. And I just want to know if you'll still help me if I accept. I mean, it's just all hypothetical anyway, right? The way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Um, okay, I admit, maybe I got a little bit too excited about it. But putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in this with me or not. Because I'm really feeling it this time, Myrtle. I really want this game to be out there. Although we're not even halfway done with it, though. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need to, to motivate me to work harder. And we can complete it. Motivate you, you say? Huh. It's just pure recklessness, and you know that. Aqua, I know you're not. Look, let's just give it a rest for now. Okay? Okay. God, I need something to take the edge off, y'all. <clears throat> oh, hey, Nori. Hello. Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's really, really fine. Honestly, I'm just glad you're both here after such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, just give me a moment. Um, take your time. How about you, Miss Myrtle? I'll have a spiced milk tea. Spiced in what way? Some cinnamon would be good, or whatever you think is better. All right, I'll have one spice milk tea. All right, so mm. okay, spice milk tea. Well, if it's tea, so just regular tea. Shyadini, Sashane, and. Is that not. Is that what they call milk? Spicy milk tea? Myrtle. She's a game developer, game programmer working on Full Metal Complex series. Favorite things in the meantime when I'm doing my life? As I stated before, working on Full Metal Complex series. One shy Adini sashing in. Thanks. Enjoy. How is it? Good. I think you nailed it. Glad to hear that. Did you 
say shayt adini? Yes. I'll put a little cardamom and other spices in it just so it lives up to the spice part at least. I see. I suppose you tried it because of the documentary I told you about the other day. Yeah. Watched it yesterday while pulling an all-nighter. Sounded interesting, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to order too. Certainly. What will it be? Um, I see you have a new tea selections on the shelves. Are those butterfly pea flowers I see? Yes, good eye. I've had them before. Pretty often, actually, especially in the office. How do you like it prepared usually? I like it best when brewed with a lot of mints. Could you make it that way for me? Sure thing. Then I'll have a blue pea tea with lots of mint, please. Okay. Well, that's... Okay, so... Blue pea tea and mint. Brew it. Alright. It's pretty. Yep, there we go. I didn't mean to close out of that. Alright, yeah, researcher by day is wearing, yeah, okay. One specialty coming up. Thank you. Looks nice, doesn't it? I was gonna comment on that. The color reminds me of the sea. Yes. How is it? It's really good. I'm happy you like it. When I feel very anxious, I often make this tea, but usually I put a little sugar and lemon salt in it too. Really? Salt? Yeah. <laughs> so what's next? You're gonna try that salted butter tea too? I thought you were the one that was gonna try it, Myrtle. As if. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that'd taste. Though, I wonder how different that'd be from just using plain cream. So, no on the salt. I told Myrtle about a documentary on hot drinks around the world the other day. They had a lot of strange recipes. You should try watching it too, Nori. Who knows? It might inspire you to make some new drinks. Sure, sounds interesting enough. What's the documentary called? Overflowing Warmth, Comforting Beverages Around the World. The name sounds plain, but the content could be a bit unique. But, but it's got plenty of normal drinks too. I'll check it out later. Thanks, Miss Aqua. You're welcome. And now I'm ready to tackle the night works following up yeah but it's fine really i just need to free up some time so i can just work further on my game your game oh ah the one that got showcased at gax something is it gaxpo right gaxpo that's the one cool i heard it's hard to get showcased there so it must be really good oh no no i mean i'm I couldn't have done it without Myrtle's help here. For real? You got like an insider entrance or something? Awkward. Oops. Sorry for butting in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyhow, don't mind me. Please continue. She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. At Gaxpo, one of the reps came up to my booth on the day Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Yes, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game a bit. They seemed interested, and there was a talk about publishing my game. Ah. At the time, I thought they were just being nice. <laughs> but, but they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. Sounds like great news. Am I wrong? What? Well, I was ecstatic at the time. They are one of my favorite publishers after that. After all, right? But n not to break the non-disclosure agreement or anything. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And by the way, you haven't signed any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. That's true. But still, I want to act in good faith. What for? Their terms were the furthest thing from acting in good faith. If I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Right, sorry about that. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the nece necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, distribution, and all that. Okay. But if I'm unable to meet their deadline or refuse to adhere to their request for changes, or 
breach any of the stated agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable. I must return all of their money regardless of my progress on the game. What? And it won't be cheap at all, mind you. I can only imagine. And if I fail to do so, they'll have full ownership of the game. I don't know what to say. That can't be right, can it? So what if they were the ones who breached the contract? I get to keep my bank I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh no, that's not all. I'll have to return any of the unused investments too. What? That's what I said. Pardon me, but are they for real? I said that too. There's still plenty more, but um it's alright. I think I got the gist of it. When I first read it I thought Maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft. I suppose yes. I also thought maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is, until I asked Myrtle for advice, I see. It's a trash contract, Aqua. I know, I get it, but it's just, I just kept thinking, you know. What if this is how all contracts are? What if this is the best I could get? It's not, though. But what if? Will you still help me, Myrtle, or not? Is that really what's important here, right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. It would be nice if you heard what I'm actually saying, and not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Oh, I, I think I better go. I have to help prepare a report for the presentation tomorrow. All right, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so. How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a bit. No. Oh. Okay. Then I'll see you around, Nori. Bye, Miss Aqua. Safe trip home. Are you alright? Yeah. I just got so frustrated when she kept asking me hypothetical questions. Hypothetical questions. Such as... She asks if I'd still be willing to help. Should she accept something like this in the future? What kind of question even is that? Is that she doesn't trust me? Or anything I say for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So to be faced with a questionable contract like that, from her favorite publisher, no less, she may very well be just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point. I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still worry. If she's that worried, why don't you just say something like, Of course I'll help you, but only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? Unless you did, and she's not convinced, and I don't know. I thought if I tell her that, and she decides to go ahead with it anyway, I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. Ooh, I see. Besides, we already agreed from the start to only work on the game when we have the time, so basically, you're not sure if you want to commit? What are you talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when you start involving money in anything. Well, can't really argue with that. I know how some of these companies work. We look for ideas from the small guys and find a way to pluck things they want from projects and trash the rest. No respect for the effort whatsoever. That publisher may be one of her favorites, but that doesn't mean they're a good company, especially with the garbage contract. It really shows what they truly are. Right. I really like working with her on the game. I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything. So brainstorming ways to incorporate our ideas into a game is interesting and more enjoyable. A good change from what I do during the day as a good game designer. Right. I just want her to understand that I'm just worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Nori's right. Though I wonder, did you say any of that to your pal at all? What? Why would I do that? Why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but when I overheard you guys, it's creepy. Right, sorry. 
So, me being creepy aside, obviously you thought a lot about this, but like, if you all talked about, if all you talked about was how dumb the contract was, and not any of what you just said, phew. If I were in her position, I'd feel pretty bummed too, because I'd be worrying if my partner still had my back, you know? Like, if they care at all? Because sounds like the project is her baby. Just like you said, work and relationships don't mix well. So it wouldn't be too far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do, right? Now, having said that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. Hindsight is really 2020, huh? I guess I can come off that way. I just thought it would be a given she'd understand where I'm coming from, but maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who didn't trust her, and I just didn't want things to change. Embarrassing. Some friend I am, huh? I'm leaving. Alright. Hope everything will turn out well. We'll see. Have a safe journey home. Yep. Goodbye. Oh, bye. Oh, what a night. And I didn't do anything done at all. I didn't get anything done at all. That's too bad. Was that like a regular occurrence here or something? Mm, not then specifically, just like in general. Well, you seem used to this. So the answer is definitely yes, right? Mm, not all the time, but often enough. Cool, cool, cool. So that's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, huh? You make people talk. I do. Well, it feels like this whole this whole place does. Heck, even I talk about myself a lot more than usual. Which is kind of weird, but also weirdly cathartic. I'll take that as a compliment, I think. You should. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out without having to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure, but great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? Huh? A fidget spinner with a social media handle printed on its back. A fidget spinner? My old business card. It's the lady from yesterday. If the lady comes in from yesterday again, could you give that to her? You mean Miss Rihanna? Yes, Rihanna. I mean, I owe her an apology, you know. And I couldn't find her online with just her first name, if that's even her name. And I thought maybe you could pass that along with my info to her so she can DM me. Also, in this form, it's less likely to get thrown out, right? Right. It really depends on the person. An influencer's contract info for a certain someone. You think she'll throw it away? Honestly, I can't really say. Oh, now you're making me nervous. Can you get it back? I might need it right now. I'm sure. No, it's fine. Keep it. I need to keep my resolve. How about writing down your email instead? It'll feel a bit more personal that way. You think so? I thought she'd be more comfortable about contacting me if it's less personal. That's why I figure her DM me would be a better be a better option. But then again, mm, nah, you're right. A, a direct line would be a better would be better here. But what if she throws it away? At least you have sincerely tried. True that. Alright. I'll trust your judgment, Nori. A piece of paper with Lucas's Tomodacho username and phone number was written on it. In that case, could you please give it to her when she seems right? If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Alright, sweet. Thanks, Nori. You're the best. Oh, man. I better go before the rain gets worse. See you around, Nori. Don't work too hard, okay? Thanks. Safe trip. Take care. Phew, what a day. And with that, folks, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.